boys and girls. Today for math, module three, lesson four. I can compare the length of linking cube or linking, linking cube sticks to a five stick. So we're gonna talk about our five stick. You will need to get out your cubes in just a few minutes. I'm gonna do a quick model with mine and then we're gonna complete workbook page 10 together in your workbook. 10, the cover looks like this, module three down at the bottom and we're gonna go to page 10. All right, but first let's follow along as I do a little counting and you can count with me. I have one cube and I'm gonna count up. Oop, backwards. One. Now I have one more and I wanna make two. So I add one on top, one two what comes next three two and one more so i have my one two three what comes next that's right good work four and it's going up like our staircase and the last i can add my five stick because it has how many cubes one two three four five just like we've been building this staircase looks similar to our staircase when we use our Cuisinaire rods. So, bear with me, I'm just gonna grab my one to five and say one, two, three, four, five. Goes up in the same way that our linking cube sticks went the rods do as well. And we can compare them. We know that one is white, two is red, three is light green, four is purple, and five is yellow. Very good. If you have five and you add one more, now how many? If you knew six and you said six right away, good job boys and girls, high five. Because you didn't have to count them each, you just counted on from five. You said five, six. Not, and then we can always, of course, one, two, three, four, five, six. But we wanna to try to remember that this is five and when I add one more, I now have six. And if I add another one to my five, or now it was six, if I add another one to that stick, it is seven. And another eight, and another nine, last but not least, 10. So I'm gonna take those five top ones off and let's work with our five stick right now and do some comparisons. Comparison. <laughs> okay, so which one of my sticks right now, my five stick and my three stick, good. Which one is the longer? Good, five stick is longer than three. So we can say the three stick is shorter than the five stick when I look at it this way also. Lining them up at the ends, and I still need two more to make them the same. Okay, I have two and three. Which one is shorter now? Good, the two stick is shorter than the three stick. Five stick. Which one is shorter now? If you knew it, that's right, four is shorter than five. Let's take out our paper and do a little work with this. You can still keep your short stick, your short five stick close by. Circle the shorter stick. The squares represent these linking cubes. So these are supposed to be these. Here's the five stick, one, two, three, four, five, just like our green one here. How many, oh, let's circle it first. Take out your pencil or your crayon, circle the shorter one. So we circled it just like how we practiced when Mrs. Osmer showed you under the camera. The four was shorter than the five. How many linking cubes are in the short stick? And we knew that was down and over, down some more. That's how you make a number four. 
The squares over here also are the cubes. Here's the five, here's the three. Three is shorter than five. How many Lincoln cubes are in the short stick? That's right, around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make a number three. Circle the longer stick here, so it changed the directions. Circle the longer one. If this is a five, and it adds one more, that's a six stick. Longer here. Think about the five, and then the five adds two more white ones. Five, six, seven. Seven cubes in the longer stick. Oops, it's hard to see it. There we go. All right, good job, boys and girls. You can turn that over to page 11. Now, here's our five stick drawing. We need to draw one shorter than my five stick. So make sure when you draw it, you can line up the squares and go across. I know four is, low, is shorter. I could do three, two, etc. Draw a stick longer than how many? Six. So you want it to be longer. So I'm going to line them up and keep counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is longer than six. And then draw a stick shorter than this one. So I'm making sure. I'm doing a couple different ways to draw the shorter sticks. And I compare them. Oh, here we go. This one, my stick, is shorter than the top one. All right, boys and girls, our second activity for today is, here it is, penguin counting. Look at the number in the penguin's belly and show that many on the 10 frame. So these are some big high numbers. We're going to work through this together live at 12 o'clock. But you can get a head start if you want and start with 12. And you're going to count them and fill in your 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is always the 10 frame is full. And I can count on 11, 12 into the next one. So if you see 10, you know right away you are going to have a full... 10 frame and then you can stop for 11 you can think oh well I need 10 there's my 10 and one more for 11 I should fill these in looks better when their circles are filled in and we will work on penguin counting some more but feel free to get started all right boys and girls see you soon